In today's video, we are talking about fat grips. We're gonna review them, as well as talk about my favorite three ways to use them to increase your grip strength for powerlifting. All of that in the video coming up. What's up, gentlemen? Welcome to Muscular Style, where we talk about all things style for the muscular man. If you are new here and you are a muscular man, please consider subscribing so we can help you up your style and fitness game. In today's video, we are talking about fat grips. Now, there's going to be a few sections of this video, and I'll have timestamps in the description below, but we're going to review fat grips. Also, we're going to talk about where you can get them, what the price is, if it's worth it. And last of all, we're going to talk about my top three favorite ways to use them to increase your powerlifting strength. So first, my review of fat grips. Now, I bought my pair of fat grips about a decade ago. I've been using these for quite some time. And the original reason I purchased them is I was a shot putter in high school, and I wanted to break the school record, which you know I ended up doing, but my grip strength wasn't that great. And in shot put, you have to be able to flick the shot put hard, and I just, I just didn't quite have the grip strength to do that. And as a result of that, my deadlift wasn't great, my bench wasn't great. There were a lot of things that were affected because I did have a weak grip. And so I started researching, I found Charles Poliquin, and he pointed to you know thick bars for training. Now, as a high school student, I didn't have thousands of dollars to drop on thick bars because they are quite expensive. So the easiest way to do that was to get a $30 implement, which was the fat grips. And essentially what fat grips does is it turns any standard Olympic bar into a thick bar or an axle. And so it's challenging your grip strength on every single movement you're doing. We'll talk a little bit more about the benefits of using fat grips at the end of the video, but right now I just wanna review the product and let you know if I think it's worth it or not. So first let's talk about the material. Now this material is a very dense rubber. I'm not exactly sure what it's made of, but when I first got these, I wanted to see how indestructible they were because they said they were quite durable. So I would chuck these at concrete, at the ground, tried smashing them with weights, uh, maybe not the smartest thing to do when I first got them, but they looked absolutely brand new when I was finished with that. In fact, a decade later, they still look brand new. These things really are indestructible. So for $30, the quality is absolutely there. I, I couldn't expect anything more quality-wise out of these. Now, ease of use is important when you're talking about equipment. You don't wanna add to your powerlifting routine, your weightlifting routine. You want this to be quick and easy. And fat grips absolutely are. You can put on a pair in about 10 seconds, for a full pair, as well as take them off in about 10 seconds. So ease of use also gets a 10 out of 10 in my book. I hope you're getting value out of this video so far. If you are, please like the video. Also, I would appreciate it if you'd help the community out by posting your favorite forearm training tips. The last thing I wanna look at is usefulness of the fat grips. Now, I really don't like gimmicks. I don't like odd equipment that doesn't absolutely have a transfer over to your training. And fat grips are one of the few things I have used consistently. Among other things are, you know, a belt, knee sleeves, things that we powerlifters use on a daily basis. Fat grips have found a place in my daily routine as far as training goes. And I, I do cycle them on and off depending on what stage I'm in in my training, but they always have a place in my training. So usability wise, again, these get a 10 out of 10. So the question is, are these worth it for you? And the real question there is, what are your goals? If you are a power lifter, these are absolutely worth it, at least in my opinion. Grip strength is absolutely important on deadlift as well as the bench press, not quite as important on the bench, but it is important for all of your lifts. Now, if you're just the average guy going to the gym training, I do still think these have a place in your gym bag because forearms are usually underdeveloped because of the diameter of the barbells and the implements we use. Our grips really aren't challenged all that much, and so you have to add in extra grip work. If you slip these on on all of your exercises, you're training your forearms with everything you do, and so naturally you're going to gain size on your forearms. When I first started using these, I had about 12 inch forearms, and about three months later I had 13 inch forearms. So, so I did add about an inch to my forearms, and I was doing other forearm training, but the real difference was using these. So I do contribute a lot of that to using fat grips, and even now flexed my forearms are about 13 and a half inches. So I have maintained that size as well as increased my grip strength. So are these worth it for you? In my opinion, yes. It's $30. Most of us spend more on supplements per month than $30. So I would absolutely add these to your bag, give them a try, and really give yourself the benefit of increasing your grip strength as well as your forearm size. Now let's jump into my favorite three ways to use fat grips. Now in powerlifting, obviously, we're trying to increase our squat, our bench, and our deadlift. So each of these correlate to one of those lifts. 
The first way I like to use them is incorporating them in my higher rep RDLs or deadlifts. When I'm in a hypertrophy phase, I'll put them on because you know obviously my other muscles can handle the load and I'll put them on maybe one or two sets. I do want a set that overloads the other muscles I'm using, but it helps with neural drive as well as strengthening those forearms. So if I have it on for a hypertrophy block, four to six weeks, I do get a lot of benefit out of that and then I can move on to strength after that. So your deadlift or your RDLs might be lighter than normal, but you will get the benefit of strengthening your grip, which for a lot of us is the weak point in our deadlifts. The second way I like to use these is on the bench press. I'll throw them on my normal bench press or any of the variations. The late Charles Poliquin suggested that you use these because it does increase neural drive and it does force you to squeeze the bar a bit harder, contracting all the other muscles. I know sometimes I have a muscle that just isn't quite working as hard and when you're squeezing harder and you have that increased neural drive, a lot of times it'll, it'll get either the forearms, the triceps, the shoulders, whatever is lagging to engage just a little bit more and that does strengthen your bench press. Now one caveat here is when I'm bench pressing, I do remove the fat grips when I'm peaking. I will keep them on for hypertrophy phases as well as for strength phases and sometimes even then I'll remove them. But especially for peaking, you do not want the fat grips. You want to have that specificity in peaking for powerlifting. The last way I like to use these is for barbell curls. Now hold on, I know you're a powerlifter and for a lot of us, we don't work our arms very much. In fact, it's only been in the past six months or so I've started working my arms. But what happened was I did a Bulgarian style training and I was doing a lot of low bar squatting and I started to get some severe tendonitis in my elbow. And if you're a power lifter, likely you have or will experience this at one time. And what I like to do is I'll do curls with the barbell with these fat grips on and that helps strengthen your forearms and it also helps relieve some of that pain from the tendonitis or prevents it from happening in the first place by strengthening not only your forearms but the tendons and the connection points in your joints. The bonus there is you know you have bigger guns which for some of us isn't important. I'm not a super competitive power lifter though I am scheduled to do a meet later this year so I am competitive but I also like to look good and you know having larger guns is never a bad thing. So while fat grips may not be the new super drug or something that's going to increase your total by 10% in 30 days, I do believe that fat grips do have value and I would absolutely encourage you to add them at least in your hypertrophy blocks, if not in your general strength training blocks. That way when it comes peaking and when it comes time for your meets, your strength is not the reason your deadlift fails and you are able to place in those meets much better. Gentlemen, until next time, stay muscular and stay stylish.